So this is going to be an update of an old uh, tutorial I made for Gus, the gingerbread guy. And what we're going to do is update it here for Blender 2.8. Hopefully this works. So let's start by hitting 5, and that'll get us out of perspective mode. And then we'll switch to side view, which is number 1. Uh, by the way, this is hopefully going to be the first of uh, 5 or 6 short tutorials that uh, should get Gus hopefully up and walking. So that's, uh, that's the objective here. All right, so we're in side view now, number one key. By the way, we should, whatever number I press, so if I hit number one, it will show up down here in the bottom left-hand corner uh, just to help you out. Or if I forget to say which key I'm pressing, the keys will show up. If I hit middle mouse button, uh, that will also uh, show up as well. Okay, all right, so we're back. Uh, number one, side view, and we should be ready to go here. First thing we'll do is we'll hit uh, uh, the Z key, and we'll go to wireframe. Now I could have also just clicked the wireframe button up here. Okay, we were in uh, we were up, we're in one of these other modes, but uh, we'll just switch to to wireframe mode. Next thing we'll do once we're in wireframe mode is we'll switch into uh, from object mode into edit mode, and we do that. You notice it changes up here. We could just click the buttons up here. We started in object mode. Uh, we hit the tab button. That changes to edit mode. In edit mode. Uh, all the vertices are active right now. You can see that. They're all uh, that yellow color. If I hit the, the A key twice for all, it deselects all vertices. If I hit A key one time, it selects them all and makes them all active. I'm going to hit the number one button on the number pad once again, take us into that side view, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to subdivide. And what that does, I'll get, I'm using the middle mouse button just to scroll around. You can see it doubled all the numbers of, of, of vertices throughout the entire uh, object. Hit number one again, we'll go back to side view, and I'm gonna hit the A key twice so that uh, none of the vertices are active, but we are still in edit mode. I'll use the B key, and what I'm gonna do now is hit X and delete all the vertices on the left-hand side. So we just have one side left. Back to number one, and from this point, what I'll do is hit the A key, make things active again, and I'm gonna add a modifier. And the modifier that we're going to use here is called mirror. And you can see that it instantly started to appear. Uh, I'll hit the A key twice. And I'm going to use B. Actually, I'll use the C key this time. And C key, what I can do now is use this little circle select and uh, hit escape to get out of that. And what that does is, is just select those vertices that I dragged over top of. Very similar to using um, uh, the B key. The only difference is, of course, with the B key, we can select everything. Uh, drag over top of the entire object. Uh, I'll just hit the A key twice. With the C key, it's circle select. So we just, wherever that circle drags over top of, whichever vertices you drag over top of, those will become active. Hit the escape key, and we're going to extrude this out a couple of times. And you can see how it's working on the left-hand side there. That's exactly what we want. Okay, we'll extrude again. This is the arm up to the elbow, and there's the rest of the arm. I don't know if I've got this exactly perfect. Maybe that's a little bit long. Uh, we can just grab that and move that back. Actually, what I'll do is I'll click on the arrows here and just kind of drag it back. And I'm going to use the B key to select these, these ones and drag that back as well too. Maybe that's a little better proportioned. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. A key twice. Uh, use the B key again. I'm going to get just these vertices, vertices and we're going to extrude down. And this will be the leg down to the knee. Uh, and then I'm going to pull that out to the side like that. Extrude down again and pull out to the side once again and maybe we'll just add a little foot in there extrude down a small amount and pull out to the side i could also use the g key to uh to make that motion as well okay i'm going to click on that uh, click up here we don't want to have that uh we don't need to have those arrows those guide arrows anymore uh and there we go we've we've got our basic shape more or less already done we've got the arms and the legs uh, what we'll do now, uh, back in side view here, is we'll click the apply button. And so that becomes uh, uh, permanent. We've, we've permanently applied that modifier to, uh, to our mesh. Okay, here we go. Um, we've, we've got a headless gingerbread guy, so we need to get that happening pretty quick here. We need to fix him up. So we'll place the 3D cursor. Actually, we'll keep it at the origin. Uh, that's fine. If it was not at the origin, we can always right click and we can go uh, let's see here. Snap. And then we can go cursor to world origin. And that'll put it back where it was. Uh, let me just see if I can move it there. I'll move it over there. And I did that by shift, right click. Okay. 
But again, if I right click and go snap, cursor to world origin, it puts it back in the middle. Okay, with everything active and in, there we go, in edit mode, okay, with the A key, what I'm gonna do is add another object, shift A, we're gonna add a cube. Now there's a problem with doing this. Some of you will know this already. If we add an object or a shape, um, a primitive shape, when we've got other selections already in edit mode, they permanently become attached. That's okay in this case. I'm gonna select the arrows up here. I'm just gonna drag that up to about that point there. There's a little bit of crossover. You'll see why, that, uh, why we need that coming up uh, fairly soon. Okay, we hit the tab button and uh, we now have a gingerbread guy. Um, we're gonna go back and throw another modifier on this again. So we'll add a modifier. Actually, let's go back into edit mode though. Select the object, tab, uh, hit A. And this modifier is gonna be a subdivision surface. Okay, and if we bump the viewport up to maybe, yeah, that'll do it, three, that's pretty good. Put the render to three as well too. Uh, and you can see what's happened now. If we hit the tab button, you can see what that did by having that overlap makes the head actually uh, part, part of the body. Okay, back to one inside view. You can see that there's a bit of a problem here. And the first and most obvious problem is that our gingerbread guy is a little bit wide. So let's put him or her on a bit of a diet here. So we hit the S button for scale. Now we don't want to just shrink the whole thing. I'm going to hit escape. I'll hit S again, but we only want to scale it in the Y plane. Okay, and we'll bring that in a fair bit. Actually, that's not bad. I think that'll pretty much do it. And it looks like we're pretty much finished the first step of our gingerbread guy.